You're wandering the winding paths and towering cliffs of Hyrule after dark. And between the howling wolves and rising Stalfos, you're certainly on your guard. But nothing could have prepared you for the sheer terror of the first time you saw red embers suddenly appear in the air around you as the clock approaches midnight. And you look around to see this is happening everywhere from no apparent source. And the gentle sounds of nature shift to something eerie and unnatural that sends a chill up your spine. And these things build and intensify as the world around you changes to a deep blood red. There's nowhere to run or hide, nothing you can do. You start to wonder if you'll survive the night. And as you look to the sky, desperately seeking answers from your surroundings, you see it. The blood moon. Blood Moon rises once again. Please be careful. is basically a map reset in Breath of the Wild, where at certain intervals as you play, the monsters, materials, and other resources respawn, so that you aren't left with an empty world after messing around with it for too long. And the game designers did an amazing job of creating a truly terrifying experience, like more terrifying than a map reset has any right to be. Despite its fantasy-like portrayal, the Blood Moon is a very real phenomenon with some interesting science and myths surrounding it, so let's get into it. The Blood Moon occurs during a total lunar eclipse, a rare and special occurrence when the Earth is directly between the Sun and the Moon. In Breath of the Wild, the Blood Moon happens every few days, but in reality, it's more like once or twice a year. During this alignment, the Earth blocks so much of the Sun's light that the only thing left to light up the Moon is sunlight passing through Earth's atmosphere. The light sort of bends around the very edges of our planet toward the Moon. But sunlight just isn't the same after it's been through Earth's atmosphere. There's a whole bunch of stuff in our air that interacts with that light, especially the shorter wavelength colors like blue, indigo, violet, because physics reasons. The result of that interaction is the blue, indigo, violet side of the color spectrum is essentially filtered out. Those colors are busy hanging out in our daytime sky, making it blue. And the red-orange side of the spectrum just continues on its path, giving our moon that mysterious, spooky glow. It's the same colors we see during sunset when the sunlight is coming from way off in the horizon. It has to go through so much atmosphere to get to our eyes that all the bluish colors have been filtered out by then. The Blood Moon's usually not as dark red as in Zelda, but the color is affected by particles in our atmosphere. For example, if there's been a recent volcanic eruption or wildfire, the particles in the air will lead to a deeper color. So perhaps the particles being emitted by the malice, which accompanies the Blood Moon, are actually part of what makes it so deep and scary in color. Even though they stem from the same light filtering effect, sunsets are considered beautiful while blood moons have a long history as something scary. Perhaps because while sunsets are a part of our everyday, a blood moon is a lot more rare, so it's kind of unsettling, especially in the past when less was widely known about why it happens. Ancient Mesopotamian cultures interpreted a blood moon as a threat to their king's life, and since they figured out how to predict eclipses, they would use that information to appoint a decoy king during its duration as a safety measure. While the king acted as an ordinary citizen, the decoy would get the crown, the robe, the whole ordeal, and be treated with the utmost respect. That is, until the eclipse period was over when the decoy was unfortunately killed as part of the ritual. The Inca saw the blood moon as a sign that the moon was being attacked and eaten by a jaguar or a mountain lion. And maybe the earth was next, so they had a tradition of making as much noise as possible to prevent the catastrophe, just as one might do to scare away an animal. Similarly, in ancient China, there were legends of a dragon or celestial dog devouring the moon during an eclipse. It's a common theme because as the earth and the moon are aligning before the blood moon part, the moon looks like it's disappearing before your eyes because of earth's shadow passing over it. So it's understandable to conclude that something must be snacking on it. A myth from the Native American Hoopa tribe said that the blood moon is a sign that the moon is being injured by its own pets. According to this legend, the moon has pet rattlesnakes and mountain lions that will attack it until it bleeds during an eclipse, all because they weren't being fed enough food. So here's a reminder to check in on your pets, make sure they're good. 
feed your pets. Lastly, we have a Hindu folktale that I think is most reminiscent of Calamity Ganon. A demon drinks an elixir of immortality. The sun and moon gods then decapitate the demon, but its body lives on, and it lives in the exact location where a blood moon occurs. So whenever the moon reaches that spot, the demon attacks it out of revenge, turning it to a bloody red. And I'm definitely reminded of the demonic Calamity Ganon, whose power grows to its peak during a blood moon, granting his own monsters a form of immortality. Coincidence? Probably but it all stems from the seemingly universal feeling we get when we see our moon take on such a spooky appearance. One that gets me absolutely terrified during Breath of the Wild. Like, even now. I know what it is, and yet. <laughs> It's scary. It's so spooky. It's so spooky. Now, I would love to hear your stories about encountering the blood moon in game. Tell me about your experience in the comments. Where were you on the map? What was going on? How scary was it for you the first time? I'll be leaving some links in the description to where you can learn more about the science and myth that I discussed and a website where you can look up when the next blood moon is visible from your location. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel to support my content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Embers appear in the air around you as the clock approaches. And you start to. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. The blood moon. <laughs> That's silly because it doesn't even get dark. It's all. It's all. A, uh, illusion. 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 I'm going to do the scary person edit. Whoa! That was scary. <laughs> I don't know how to be scary. The blood moon. <laughs> we spooky and we got it. We got it. We got it. We spooky and we got it. Another take. Why? What? You are adorable. <laughs> Thank you.